Hey Northeast Branch Library patrons, it's Miss A, and now it is time to make some slime. If you've been in the library this week, you might have seen some go packs that had supplies to make slime. There are instructions in the bag, but if you're in this video, I'm hoping you're planning on joining me and following along together. I don't know about you, but I really miss our Wednesday night family nights. So, Let's just pretend it's 5.30 on Wednesday night and we're all together in the same room making slime. So if you don't have a go pack from the library, you can find all of the materials at home, probably, or you can get them at the store. But in your go bag or the materials you assemble, you should have a cup, which I've already filled with warm water, and you should do the same, a bottle of clear Elmer's glue, about a half tablespoon of borax powder, some fun add-ins if you'd like them. I have some green foam beads, a little mermaid charm. If you got a go pack from the library, it should come with different fun things to add in. A spoon for mixing, and if you'd like, you could also put in lotion to make it softer if you're an experienced slimer. Or if you have some food coloring, you could just add a few drops, but that's not in our go packs. So to start, we want to take our cup of warm water, open up our plastic container, which should have some white powdery substance at the bottom. That is our borax. We are going to take our borax and pour it into the warm water. Let's make sure it's all out there. We're going to use this container then to make our slime in, so just keep that right in front of you. Take your spoon and stir the borax powder into the warm water. So we want to mix this until it's like as dissolved as we can get it. So try to dissolve all that borax powder and this is our starter. Now we are not going to use all of the starter for this recipe. Um, it's just hard to get a smaller amount of borax in a container for you all to keep track of. So if you want, if you have more glue at home, you could use this for a bunch more slime recipes. For this recipe, we'll only need about one to three spoonfuls of the activator. So do not, I repeat, do not pour the activator into your slime. You will end up with a hard rock of, that does not resemble slime at all. So yes, put this to the side. We'll use it in a little bit. The next step is to take your glue and we're going to untwist the cap to open it. So you should take it at the bottom, twist. You see that there's no longer a little white hole at the top. It's a nice empty hole to squeeze out of. So we're gonna take our glue and squeeze it into the container. You know, if you wanna save time, you can even, now make sure you don't do this over your parents' carpet or anything like that. But you can twist off the cap completely, put it to the side and then yeah, that goes a little bit more easily. So just squeeze the clear glue in. So you can put in as much as you want. You just wanna make sure that you have some room to stir it without it overflowing your container. Also, if you have something like foam beads, that'll take more space. So just make sure that if you have a lot of stuff to add in, you leave extra space at the top. You can see mine's at like the bottom of this line here. And now I only started with about a half full cup of like container of glue. So you might not want to squeeze the whole thing in if you have a fresh full container of glue like I put in the go packs. So now we're done with the glue bottle. Mine is empty. So I'll just put it to the side. So now we just have a container of glue. So as I said before, we're going to take our activator, but we are not going to pour it. I repeat, do not pour. So, we take the handy dandy spoon, and I'm going to start with two spoonfuls of activator. One, two. You might need more, you might probably need more, but I'm going to start stirring first and see if my slime comes together, because I don't want it to get too hard. And actually, I think this might be right. So you want to stir it. So I'm just stirring, stirring with the spoon. 
and you want to start coming away from the walls and becoming less sticky. So actually, if you can see this, it's still pretty sticky. If I feel it with my finger, it gets all over my finger. You do not want that, so that means add more activator. So you can keep repeating the process of stirring, and if it needs more work, make sure you stir for a decent amount of time, because you don't want to add too much activator. But if it's too sticky after a while of stirring, you add a tiny bit more activator. You don't even need to add a whole spoon. You could eat, add half a spoonful. So I'm gonna add another spoonful. So for me, that's three spoonfuls total. I'm going to stir for a while. Let's see if this comes together now. Actually, yeah, I think for me, three spoonfuls is going to be the sweet spot. But let's see, ooh, yeah. Needs more activator. <laughs> so it might be a good idea to get some paper towels or napkins when you're doing this because your hands do get pretty sticky. So I added another spoonful. I'm going to stir. Okay, now it's coming together a lot more. As you guys can see, it's more of one piece now instead of sort of goops. It's coming away from the sides of the container. I think my slime is ready to knead. Once your slime is sort of coming together, you want to knead it. Let's see. I'm gonna play with this a little bit before I put it on the table. So you just wanna take it with your fingers and sort of punch it down, move it around. Okay, slime is finally coming together. So all I'm doing is now I'm taking my hand and I'm moving it sort of in a kneading motion. And all we're trying to do is to get the slime to come together into one sort of squishy blob Okay, so my slime is sort of coming together now. A little bit more. And dipping your fingers in the activator is also a nice way if you just wanna add a teensy bit of activator to your slime. It keeps you from adding too much in like a spoonful. So what you want is okay if it's a little sticky still, but you want a nice elastic slime, like it stretches well, but you don't want it to stick to everything. Okay, slime is finally together. So, now you probably have a baggie of some beads or a little vial of glitter, or if you're lucky, you might have both. So what you're going to do is add it in. So, I take my foam beads and I'm just going to pour them into the container a little bit at a time. So you don't want to dump the whole thing on top, it'll be really hard to mix. But I just sprinkled them on top to cover and I'm just poking them in. I'm going to stir them into my slime, sort of knead them in. Because we're making clear slime, the nice thing is it's really easy to see the beads. I think mine looks sort of like a bubbling cauldron. If you have like a little plastic cauldron, you could put it in there, have it as like a little Halloween sign. Eek. I'm gonna put a few more beads in mine. Eek. Looks like I also have some glitter. For these glitters, all you wanna do is pull on the top until the little plug comes out. Ah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna shake, oh no, I just got glitter all over the table. <laughs> You just pour the glitter in. Be mindful of your surroundings, people. So now I'm stirring into my slime. In a moment, you will see my glorious green foam bead and glitter slime. I do think this one makes a nice Halloween slime. I think I could have added maybe a little less activator to mine. Or maybe a little more. There you have it. <laughs> so there you have it, friends. Some wonderful slime. Now I hope you'll join me again at the next family night craft night. See you later.
When you're done playing with your slime, just put it in your container. Make sure all parts of the slime are inside and then just put the lid on and press down to close. Thanks and I'll see you next time.